Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I have a cute little December daily, I guess you could call it, book that I put together. This is like a, a journal, a shopping list, just basically a way to um, take notes and add photos to for the month of December. And on the front here, I did film showing how I put this cover together. The rest of it was... Um, I did not film because it was just mostly printing stuff out and cutting it out with my cameo, things like that. But I will play the video in fast forward of how I put this cover together. But basically the first thing that I use is the Tim Holtz Stamper Anonymous book covers. Hopefully you can see that without a glare. It comes with a large one and a small one. The large one ends up being about four and a half by six and a half. So I use the large one and I stamped it on white cardstock with Memento London Fog ink and then I went around the edges and the entire thing with Black Soot Distress ink with a mini, mini ink blender by Tim Holtz. I did the back cover the same as well. I just left it blank. Then on the very edges of this I used an embossing pen. Hopefully, There you go, the camera can pick that up there. I used an embossing pen that I got years ago in the stamp department, I believe at Joann's, maybe at Michael's. And this is by Zig, it's called an emboss writer, and it basically has Versamark ink in it. So I just ran that around the edges, and I used some silver embossing powder and heat set that with my heat tool. On the front here, I used a silhouette cut. I'll link all the products that I used down in the description box along with information on where um, I got this from. Here I used a beautiful Spellbinders Nestabilities or Shapeabilities, the D-Lights. This is Petite Labels 1 and I used the largest and second largest in this one here. So I cut out three layers of thin chipboard to place behind that, that and once I had the chipboard together, you could see the raw chipboard. So I went around the edges of the chipboard with Distress Paint and Walnut Stain. I did that with my covers as well, my chipboard covers as well, just so if it stood out, it blended a little bit better. And then I cut out some red cardstock. This silver paper here, and you'll see that throughout my book, is the DCWV Glitzy Glitter Cardstock. I absolutely love this. This. I use the um, silver a lot in this. So that's what is on the front of here and the front of his belt as well. On the front of here, I wanted to use a Tim Holtz plaquette, the ideology line, but I had already used the 25 out of it. So I just kind of mimicked it myself and did this on the cameo. And I went around the edges in black ink and then I added some glossy accents to it, let it sit overnight, and then added some flat back pearls. So I backed this cover on some red cardstock. And then let me just flip through it real quick and show you what I've used. For the paper, I used two different collections. I used all Graphic 45. I used Twas the Night Before Christmas and Christmas Carol. So I added that throughout, which you'll see here in a moment. And on the front here, I used the tags and pockets from the Christmas Carol collection. I adhered everything, the front and back covers, with Angel Craft tape. And then lastly, throughout, I used a few stickers. And this is from the Cosmo Cricut Just Your Holiday Type. They have some really thick, really neat stickers throughout. And I've had this in my stash a really long time, so I was excited to use up some of it. So on the front here, I have the t from the tags and pockets a tag inside of a pocket here and this is from the Christmas Carol collection I absolutely love it I also used a few of the Tim Holtz script holiday words these are my favorite um, he has I believe 17 of them here is the word jingle and then I added some of that glitter paper and the red cardstock added a few banners here and the first page is going to be the December 2015 calendar because this is for the month of December. Down here I have a little cameo cut and this is great to if you want to keep track of who you're shopping for for your Christmas gifts, what you're buying, ideas and the reason I added 
paper throughout is I'm hoping um, that who receives this will also add photos and journaling throughout and it's basically a, a keeper for the month of December. It'd be a great keepsake to look back and see what traditions, um, what maybe uh, items you baked, things like that. So here's this beautiful paper. Here I have another one of the script. It says Wonderland. That's my favorite. I cut that also from that same DCWV paper. Here I have something that I made myself. It says making a list, checking it twice. It's a great way to add journaling too. This I did out of craft card stock. I put the word jingle on it and I added some homemade enamel dots. I put a to-do task, so again a great list to keep track of who you're shopping for, what you're buying. This I had an extra one, so I added this in here, this um, Spellbinders die with the paper, and I added a little reindeer, and it gives the definition of a reindeer. This one says believe. I love the combination of the craft card stock with this paper. This one here says Christmas Wish. I added one of those Cosmo Cricut stickers. Great way to add what you're wishing for this year. Stockings hung, hung with care, so this would be a great photo place to put a picture of your stockings. And then this here I also printed out. It says the naughty list from Santa's desk. On here I put December 25th, I added a, just a strip of that glitter paper. On the back is one of those stickers. It says the children were nestled all snug in their beds. On this side I have our Christmas traditions with some more of that paper. Again, a great journaling thing for your kids to look back on and see um, maybe when you started the tradition or what traditions you want to carry on. This is also a little printout. It says Santa's Workshop, the North Pole. It's like a um, mailing sticker, overnight delivery. Another to-do task. This one says cookies for Santa, so hoping um, a photo of the cookies will go there. Sticker that says naughty or nice. Here's another one of the Tim Holtz words. It says believe. On this side is a um, cut apart from the Graphic 45 Twas the Night Before Christmas collection, the 4x6. This here I printed out, it says Naughty or Nice. This one says Family Photo, so it's perfect spot for a family photo, and up here it says Blessed in the tab. I made these tabs myself, this in the silhouette. Another list. This one here says a holly jolly Christmas. This is an Allie Edwards stamp. I added some more of that paper and a few more enamel dots. On this side is a snow sticker. Sticker. This one here is a receipt for sleigh fuel for December 25th. On this one here I put for a, a photo for your Christmas tree. On the back it says oh Christmas tree. And then I added another one of those 25s that I have glossy accents on. A few of the postcards from the Christmas Carol collection. On this side I have a December bucket list, so if there's certain things you want to do in the month of December, maybe go see Christmas lights or go cut down a tree, this would be a great place to add it. On the bottom it says E is for Elf. Here is a Christmas list, again more of that paper. A little another strip of that paper down here. On this side is a um, North Pole Toy Factory Certificate of Authenticity. This here says do not open till Christmas. And on the back I put this little journal spot. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to make and this like I said will make a great keepsake to add photos and a great little memory book for December of 2015. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. I'll have all the information on the products that I used. And if you want to stay tuned for how I did this cover, please do. Thanks so much for watching.